Good morning. Uh, recently posted out my new catalogue, which hopefully has arrived uh, with those of you that wanted one. Uh, please let me know if, you, if you'd like a copy. Uh, getting a really good response. Uh, it's taken me away from my studio for quite a long time, and I'm now uh, really happy to be back doing what I should be doing uh, with some sculpting. So I'm working on three life-size cheetah heads, um, working from a casting of a cheetah skull, uh, which I got from Specialist Wildlife Services, um, who kindly lent it to me. Um, also working from photographs I took in Namibia with Africat, um, which are a great, great reference material. And what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing here uh, is I'm, I'm making three life-size cheetah all at the same time using the three materials that I generally use. So uh, 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 a cranked clay, a plasticine, um, and this is actually a natural clay straight out of the ground. Um, the natural clay gives a very organic surface. It's very hard to uh, control. It's got so much sort of bits and things in it that uh, it, it almost does what, what it wants to do. And I love that randomness of the, of the surface. The plasticine uh, uh, gives a surface which is very much what I've done with it. There's no randomness with it. It's a very smooth material, so it, it, it really only does w what I've done. Um, uh, and it's, it's all about directional mark making and building up um, the anatomy and the muscles and, and giving a sense of character and um, uh, what, what the cheetah is thinking. And then um, a crank clay, which is um, much easier to work than plasticine. Plasticine, when it's cold, is very hard. Um, and the crank clay is obviously much, much softer, and I tend to work with quite wet clay. Um, so really just an interesting study to see how the three different uh, materials behave on the same subject. These guys are nearly finished. Um, they will be going to the foundry soon um, and cast into bronze as an addition.